Well, if you've seen the Cerrone commercials on TV this month, you know that they're undergoing a major construction project here on property. They're building a new showroom in Al Cerrone. Uh, this is very exciting. You must be like a little kid watching all this happen. I am, actually. Once I got by the cost of this, yeah. and I swallowed that pill, now we're ready. And, and seeing the progress and knowing they've started and how long it took to get the permits and all the red tape that goes along yeah. with it, Yes, I am excited. Excellent. So what's, what exactly is going on back here? Well, as you can see, they put the footing in. Yep. That's going to be the perimeter of the new showroom. So we're here we are in front of the old service department. And of course, we used to have service and sales on opposite sides of the street. Now it's all going to be confined to one big lot, which is approximately okay. six acres. So that's the way to go. It, it, it is. Ultimately, yep. I think it will be much more convenient for all of the workers here and the customers. But you know what? Rather than speculating what it's going to look like, let's go inside and look at the plans. Okay. So John, the, this is kind of like a master plan, a good overview of what we're doing here. This is the current service department building. Yep. And this is the new showroom, the proposed showroom that they're pouring the foundations for now. And it's actually going to wrap around. So the majority of the inventory lot will be on this side. So the people in the showroom can sit here and in the front, that way they can see and make sure they don't miss any customers entering in the front or on the side. They've got a pretty good panoramic view of the entire inventory. Yeah, and a lot more space out front, whereas you were real close to the road across the street. Exactly, and, and this will probably give us a good 100 plus feet to the road so we can display a few cars, but mostly have customer parking. When they pull in, they're gonna face the dealership and they're actually gonna see two separate showrooms. Yeah, can you talk about that a little bit? I think the, the viewers would be interested to know that the manufacturers really prompt you to construct your new showroom in their image a certain way. They, they do. I mean, you liken it to many corporations. I'll use McDonald's as an example. You notice how all the McDonald's look alike. They have the golden arches, but beyond that, the, sh the, the restaurants have a similar look, very similar look. Mm -hmm. Well, so with GM, they want Chevy dealerships to look alike, not exactly alike, because there are a few designs you can pick from, but they want people to drive by and say, oh, that's a Chevrolet dealership. Right. Buick and GMC, a little bit different, but again, they want people to drive by and not rely on the words Buick GMC, they want to be able to identify that's Buick GMC, yeah. and Cadillac also. We don't have Cadillac, but Caddy, of course, is part of General Motors. Yeah. And GM is helping to subsidize the dealers because they realize that they, they realize it's a very expensive project yeah absolutely. so you know they're chipping in a little bit and i think it's a great plan and that also helps induce most dealers to want to buy into the right. program when otherwise they may not because you know you're looking at pretty big bucks to to do this sure now this rendering here is a little more blown up and it's kind of sideways but i see here's your gm half of the new showroom mm -hmm. and the chevy half well when you have duels which we have they don't want all of the products in one showroom, but they allow us to make one building, but it has to be divided in two. And they're actually two separate entries. When you pull in front of our new dealership, you're gonna see Chevy to the left, Buick GMC to the right, and it's separated by the wall. So if you're in one, you actually have to walk out and in the front door of the other. Well, Al, bottom line, I know much of this is because you want this to be a great customer experience when they come in a brand new showroom. Exactly. I mean, the intention of General Motors, as well as the Cerrone family, is to better serve the customer. And with a brand new showroom, not walking across the street, two separate showrooms, nicer offices, nicer facilities, air conditioning, all the amenities, bottom line is I, I think it'll make it for a much more pleasurable experience. And the staff has to be excited. Oh, they are. Well, 23 years in the old building, it, you know, is basic but functional. Yeah. It's time for change. Yeah. Now, how's your dad doing with all this? How's Smokey feel about this change? Well, that's another old story. I see. You know, Dad, Smokey is uh, old school. He's 85 years old, and I think that he thinks it still costs about 200,000 to build all of this. <laughs> so we're kind of keeping him in the dark yeah. as to what it really costs. <laughs> so while all of this is going on, you still have to stay open and sell cars. We do, and you know, outside of a little choreography here, trying to you know navigate the fencing and the one ways and all the construction, we have to sell every single day like every other dealership does. Yep. And as a matter of fact, 
This month, we've got two incredible specials. We've got the 2014 Chevy Malibu, which is a mid-sized car, but it's great on gas. It's over right. 30 miles per gallon, and they're 14,995. And of course, we've got the Captiva, which is a great little SUV, which I drive one, gets great gas mileage, and we've got those for 16,995. So still open for business, just like any other day with the construction. So what's the timetable on getting all of this completed? I would say late spring 2015. It's only seven or eight months away, and we should have it all buttoned up.